Are you ready for a war between a chicken and a cook? What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and that intro was weird, but yeah, we are going to talk about a game called Shot and Totten 2. It is a successor, a spiritual successor to a game called Shot and Totten. So we are going to do a comparison with the number one and uh, we're going to do also a review of number two and I will tell you what I think about it. So yeah, let's get down to the table. Let me quickly show you what are the differences in this game and stuff like that and then we'll talk some more about it. Okay, uh, let's compare number one and number two. So as you can see, the boxes are the same size, but now the winter has came. It sort of looks like it's a cold weather outside and yeah, so let's just quickly check out the components for all the two games just so you can see what the differences are even though i believe that you have like number one and as you can see this one is more fuller with the components than this one right of the start so basically in the first one you get wait a second nine you get nine of these tiles and you will try to battle over these once you win them it goes over on your side and it's crucial you remember that so these are, of course, put in one line. I will not explain the rules of the game now. You can watch my review of the first shot in Totem that I did just very recently. But yeah, you will battle over these stones and once you win it, you will put it on your side of the, of the table and you win it. There's completely the same thing on one of the other side. Then that will be the key difference from the main game. Uh, all the artwork in... in uh, or the artwork is different in this one, but uh, I mean, it's in the same style, but the cards look very much differently. And in this game, you are battling not over nine, but over, wait, let me just take them all out. You are battling over seven of these tiles. So what is the difference? Well, in this one, uh, uh, when you were fighting uh, on this, you would only put three cards on each side and whoever wins this, uh, uh, takes it on his side but uh, in this version of the game in this shot in totten 2 they tell you see first you have like a normal wall then you have like a little bit of destroyed wall so if you are battling over this wall you need to put four cards on it this one also this one says three cards this one says that uh, you need to put three cards but it will just uh, you will just look at the sum and who even who, whoever has the lowest uh, sum is the winner of this tile and uh, this one uh, has uh, like uh, two cards only that you can put this one also puts three and this one says the sum but who has the most not the least cards uh, when when you sum them up and all of these if you flip them on the other side once you you if you are a, as attacker if you are able able to win a trick on this side you will flip it on this side and now it tells you something completely different now it tells you that you need to have upscale on it and this one says that only need to be uh, one of uh, one has to be one color, whatever uh, the sum ends up. Is whoever has the biggest sum is the winner. But you need to play one color. This one says you need four cards, but uh, you are looking who has the lowest numbers on them. And uh, yeah, they do repeat. This one says that you need to play two exactly same cards. So yeah, and uh, in this version you manage to win if you flip four of these tiles on the other side or if you manage to flip one and then you manage to win over it again then you completely destroyed it and you win the game but uh, the defender and uh, now you get a little standees so everybody knows who's the i mean everybody are playing two player games so it's not like a huge deal but it's really nice addition so this is the attacker the chicken is the defender so you are defending yourself against this crazy cook and uh, you also have these three like a pots of hot steaming i forgot what it is is it oil or something i'm not really sure but uh, you can uh, use this on a wall to burn one of the cars that is closest to the wall and these are only one use and you get three of these to use throughout the game and of course you get a bunch of cards there are, there are of course here are the special characters some of them showed up already in the base game you also have these like special ability cards that do lots of different things. You have like this player aid that explains you uh, what trick uh, wins over what trick. And over here, what of those symbols mean on these tiles. And 
these cards go from 0 to 11, 0 the lowest and 11 the biggest number. And the fun thing is uh, the 11 has a cook on it and the 0 has a chicken on it as the attacker and defender. And if at any time 0 and 11 are on opposing sides of the wall, wall they are automatically destroy each other. They go over each other and you just remove them from the game. So that's a really nice, cool addition of the, to the rules that was not in the base game. But as you can see, the artwork is different, but still looks very much the same. Let's find one number nine. Let's find blue number nine just to compare you. Oh, here it is. So yeah, as you can see, the artwork looks really much the same, but uh, the numbers are a little bit smaller and still it looks super cool. The back sides are different, which I'm sorry for because I would maybe mix and match some of these cards between sets just to have more variety in in the in the artwork but it's really not like a big deal and yeah that's that's that that's all the difference between shot and totten and shot and totten 2. okay so that was a shot and totten a dos a two va if you're from croatia so yeah even though this is a pretty much similar game to Shot and Totten. It is completely different game, if you ask me, because they do play uh, sort of differently. In the first version, you had these nine tiles that you were battling over four. Now you only have seven, but uh, the rules are also changed. You need to only win to flip four on the one side or flip one and uh, pull it once more to your side. That way you will win the game. So yeah, in this one, uh, the, the rules are changed a little bit, but they're just there. They're just the same, so it's not really that hard to learn the game. Basically, you know everything. You just need to catch up with two or three different rules. Uh, in the first version, there was only like... A, there was only just... A, you can put three cards in one space, and then you would battle over that stone. You have three cards. Other player puts three cards on their side. You match up, see who wins that stone. You take it, and that's it. Whoever is the winner at the end of the game, bam, over. Well, in this one, in the second one, now you can uh, you uh, the these uh, different wall compartments, uh, parts of the wall, as you saw, they will dictate you what you will be doing. So on some of them, you will put four cards, or on some of them, you will put only two cards, and you can still go for a straight, but just with two cards, like nine and ten, or or I don't know, seven or six, or just with a color or whatever you want, and the other th that changes the way you think about this game a little bit and i like that because it is not like okay i played the first one i am most definitely sure i could beat you in a second one like you are, if you are a pro in the in the shot and totten this one will throw you off the balance a little bit because the one player is defending the castle uh, this time around and the other player is attacking it and the defending player also has three tokens as you saw and they can destroy your cards and you really really are struggling by the very end of the game to try and win as the attacker uh, i kind of feel i mean i feel the same playing as the defender and as the attacker it, it is always I, it is is that mindset where you are thinking oh man i'm going to lose and the other side is thinking oh man i'm going to lose i'm definitely going to lose and you are both actually winning it sort of you know what i'm talking about when you are just thinking you, you have no idea how to pull out of this but you somehow manage it just it's just wonderful game. It is wonderful upgrade to a shot and totten because of those few little rules. They're just introduced there for fun, for little variation from the base game, and they still keep the core game intact, which I absolutely love. They did not like came out with the uh, number two in a in a in a title of the game and then completely changed everything. And so yeah, it is great, nice addition to the first one. So now the question is, do you really need... Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing that I liked about it. Once you flip the wall, once you manage to damage the wall before you can maybe completely destroy it and win the game, uh, the rules for the flipped wall change. Now on that wall, you don't need to put four cards. Now you need to put like maybe some color and you will just get the, you will just look at the sum of the number numbers as long as it's just one color. So that's, that's absolutely gorgeous because there's always like... Uh, you know, it throws you off because you are now ready. Okay, so I need to put three cards here. And when you flip it, now you don't need to put any more three. You don't need to put three cards. You need to put all same colors. And you have like a bunch of different colors in your hand. And you're like, 
can I win any other wall maybe or something like that, you know? Uh, so yeah, uh, the main question, the main question, do you need both? I would say yes, just because these are like super, super small games. You can easily put them in your left and right pocket and go out, but they play very differently. They play differently enough to own both. Uh, this one will offer you some basic experience and this one will upgrade on that basic experience in a really, really nice way. Uh, I completely forgot to mention those special cards. Those are also really cool. I kind of like to play more of the vanilla game. Those special cards are interesting, but uh, me and my wife, we just enjoy playing the normal game without special abilities. Now, I'm not saying that this is the bad thing. It's there, it's optional, that's great. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but if you use them, you'll have fun. Um, my wife is not so much into the special characters and stuff like that. She likes more vanilla games, so we are mostly playing vanilla game. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great game. I think it's a superb addition to the first shot in Toten, and I think you should definitely check it out. And uh, that is that. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, do join me next time when I will be doing my whole uh, review clocking uh, like a chicken. And until then, pozdrav. In the, in the regular shot in Toten, you had like these, um, how many? Uh, Okay, so that was a shot and totten two. Two, two, two. It is definitely a different game, and uh, here's why. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of, I kind of, kind of lost a track of thoughts there. <laughs>